Hi everybody, this is Jeff again, and we're going to talk today <clears throat> about how to use EBSCO Business Searching Interface and how to get um, citations from there. So we talked in an earlier video about how to use this database. Now the articles in this are a little bit different than regular EBSCO in that the citation feature is kind of different and it's kind of hard to find. So I'm going to look up an article here. I'm going to put uh, <clears throat> Nike has to be in the title. We're just looking for business articles in Business Source Premier. And let me find a good looking article here. There we go. Okay, so how I would trigger a citation from this is to click on the Save button. Now that seems a little strange. You would think you would click this, but this isn't actually a button to, to click. It just shows you that this is the citation. Now if we want to get a formatted citation, I'm going to click Save. Change Citation Format. Click there and change it to MLA. And click Save, even though I'm not really going to save it. I'm just going to copy and paste this. So I'm going to uh, highlight that. You could hit Control C, or I'm going to right click and then click Copy on that. Okay. Now I'm going to open up Word document, a, a Word document. I already have Word open here, so I'll just click there. Since it's MLA, the last page of my paper has to say Works Cited at the top for all the references I used in this paper. I'm going to center that. And enter. Go down here, make this not centered. Now you could hit Control V, or I'll just right click and paste that in there. Okay? Looks like a pretty good citation. There are some problems with it. Let me fix the problems. You can see that the font is kind of non standard. So I'm going to change that to Times New Roman and 12 point so it matches my work cited. It looks really good. Next thing that needs to be double spaced. It's nice that there was a hanging indent in there. That looks good. Let me go here to the paragraph button and click this little arrow button here. And it is a hanging indent at half an inch. That's good. The regular indentation is nothing, which is good. Line spacing, we'll change that to double. Okay, looks good. Now, uh, MLA, the latest standards say they don't really need to see EBSCO. EBSCO is kind of a vendor of databases, and Business Source Premier is the actual database within it. So we don't, MLA doesn't need to see EBSCO. Okay. So that's a good looking citation. Let's check it for any errors. All the right words are capitalized. That's good. Okay. And uh, you know, I'm going to double check something here. You should this is what you should always double check these citations. I I'm looking at this. I'm looking right here. On the the journal or the source that published it. What do you think? Should there be a period there? And so what I'm doing right now I am opening my MLA manual, and I, I always try to double check these things if I have a question. Let me turn into the section I have bookmarked for database. Let's see if, uh, no, that's actually right. I'm looking in here between the name of the journal and the volume it was published in. There's actually not a period there. So let me, ju let me just make sure, though. I'm, I'm looking through here. I'm looking through a number of examples. I know you can't see what I'm doing right now, but I'm uh, looking at the pages right now, and I would recommend this. Always double check the book. And no, nope, all the examples I see in the book show that after the name of the journal, there is no period. So we'll leave that. That looks good. Okay. Now, the thing that looks a little weird here, it looks like I got an extra line in there. So I'm going to delete that. Okay. Let's go grab another one here. Sorry for that long delay there where we had, you weren't seeing me do anything, but that's, that's an example. That's the way it goes. In real life, you should check these if something looks weird. I'm going to grab this one because this one looks kind of strange because there's no author listed. And that will sometimes happen with these journals. They'll just have a staff writer write the article and they don't even credit it to an author. And if that happens, the citation will look a little different. Let me do my thing again. Save. Click there and change that to MLA. Okay, and I'm going to copy this. And we'll go in here. Go down to the next line. Okay, looks pretty good. Uh, let's do some things here. Do our little thing, my little trick. Times New Roman, 12 point, paragraph button, hanging indent looks good, and double spaced. Okay, that's great. Now, uh, this, look at that little thing. That shouldn't be there, should it? That's not good. That's I'm not sure what that is, but I know it doesn't work there. So you always check this. Make sure everything looks good. Business Source Premier is listed, and we don't need EBSCO. So we're going to get rid of EBSCO. 
There we go. Nice looking citation. Now the problem now look here, notice that in place of the author, the title is listed. If there's not an author, you list the title in the place of the author. Now look at this. Look at this space here. That's weird. That's too much space, and it's it's like two and a half spacers or something. What I would do to get rid of this generally, highlight all this stuff, go to the paragraph button, and click don't add space between paragraphs of the same style. This button you've probably never clicked before. Click that. Boom, that tightens it up. Good. Okay, we've got a good looking couple of citations there. Let me go back here. Now let's say you're using one of the business profiles in EBSCO Business. And these are great. I love these. I love these. Um, these are harder to do the, the profiles for, and EBSCO doesn't do a very good job of putting these together. Let me click on, so underneath Browse, we go to Company Profiles. This is my favorite aspect of this database. I'll look up Nike in here. This isn't going to look up articles. This is going to look up a data monitor report on this company, which is a detailed, usually 30-page report that will help you put together a profile for the company. Okay? It looks great. 30-page PDF. Now, how in the world are you going to cite this? Problem is, if, if we go back and hit here and do the thing we did before, it comes up with a very incomplete citation. In my opinion, it just doesn't give you enough information to, to truly show what this is. So it just says Nike Incorporated and no date, but there is a date associated with it, so that's not accurate. There's not Business Source Premier in here. So let me show you how I would do these. Since this has been a problem for a number of people, myself included, um, this is how I would cite it. This is just, I took some time putting together a citation for these on the library website. If you go to the library website, scroll down beneath electronic databases, Go to MLA and APA Citation Assistance. Go to the MLA Cheat Sheet. Click Open. This is a data monitor report, so I'm going to search within this document for data monitor. Okay, and it went to data monitor here. So this is how you cite a data monitor report. List data monitor is the author, the name of the company in italics, REP period, that's report. Okay, this is a report. And this was the date that the, the report was published. And you'll find that in the report, if I can get this to do it. <laughs> go ahead, let me click Data Monitor Report again and see if this will load. There we go. On the title page, if you scroll down a little bit, there's the publication date of the report right there. So there's your date. And let me open this cheat sheet up again here. The Business Source Premier web and the date that you the date that you took a look at, the date you downloaded it. Here's another thing without all the little hints. Data monitor is the author, name of the company there, report. This is the date the report was published. It's from Business Source Premier. I got it off the web, and this was the date that I took a look at it. So that is how I would recommend doing these. And I think that that is going to give you really a pretty good idea of how to do citations from Business Source Premier. So as always, if you have any questions about this or you need any help with this, please let me know. Contact me in the library and I'd be more than happy to help you. If you can't make it into the library, we can work with this over the phone, through email, whatever you want to do. Thanks a lot for taking the time to watch this video. This is Jeff, signing off.